Have you ever pondered why we often find our greatest strength in our deepest moments of weakness? It's a question that stirs the soul, isn't it? In the course of our lives, we encounter trials that test our resolve, moments that leave us feeling vulnerable. Yet it's often in these very moments that we discover an inner strength we never knew we possessed. So what's the secret? Let's delve into this paradoxical concept as we explore it through the lens of the Bible. To understand this paradox, we need to look no further than the Bible, a book filled with accounts of individuals who found strength in their weakest moments. Let's begin with David, a young shepherd boy who, despite his small stature and humble background, was chosen by God to become a king. His story is one of courage, resilience and faith, even when faced with the towering giant, Goliath. It was in his moment of apparent weakness that David's true strength shone through, a strength not of his own, but that was given by God. Then we have Job, a man who lost everything, his wealth, his children, his health. His story is one of the most challenging in the Bible, yet in the midst of his suffering and weakness, Job found a strength that transcended his circumstances. He clung to his faith in God, showing us that even in the darkest of times, there is a strength that can be found in surrender and trust. Paul, the apostle, is another example. Once a fierce persecutor of Christians, he became one of the most influential figures in the early church. In his letters, Paul speaks openly of his weaknesses, his struggles, his trials. Yet it was in acknowledging his weaknesses that Paul found his true strength. He wrote, When I am weak, then I am strong. A powerful statement that encapsulates the paradox we're exploring. These are just a few of the many individuals in the Bible who embody this concept of strength in weakness. Their stories serve as a reminder that our weakest moments can often be the catalyst for our greatest growth. They remind us that strength is not always about physical might or worldly power, but about faith, resilience, and the courage to keep going, even when the odds seem stacked against us. Now that we have set the stage, let's explore some specific biblical verses that speak directly to this concept. The Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom on finding strength in times of weakness. Let's delve into some of these precious pearls of wisdom, starting with the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. Here, the Apostle Paul shares a profound revelation. He speaks of a thorn in his flesh, a messenger of Satan sent to torment him. Despite pleading with the Lord three times to remove it, he hears God say, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. What does this mean? It's a divine assurance that in our weakest moments, when we feel the most inadequate, that's when God's power shines the brightest. It's a reminder that our struggles, our trials, our thorns are not in vain. They are opportunities for God's grace to manifest in our lives. Paul concludes by saying, for when I am weak, then I am strong. A paradox, yes, but a profound truth about resilience. It's about finding strength, not despite our weaknesses, but through them. Next, we turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 29. It reads, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. This verse offers a comforting promise. It reassures us that when we're weary, when we're at our lowest, God doesn't abandon us. Instead, he steps in and strengthens us. He increases our power, renews our energy, and helps us to keep going. It's a promise of divine assistance and empowerment in our times of weakness. Finally, let's consider Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a powerful affirmation of faith. It reminds us that our strength doesn't come from ourselves, but from Christ. It's not about our abilities or our power. Instead, it's about Christ's strength working in and through us. When we feel weak, when we feel like we can't go on, this verse encourages us to lean on Christ, to draw strength from Him, and to keep moving forward. So what do these verses tell us about strength and weakness? They reveal that weakness is not something to be shamed or feared. It's an opportunity for God's power to be displayed in our lives. They remind us that even when we feel weak, we're not alone. God is with us, offering His strength, His grace, and His power. They encourage us to lean into our faith, to trust in God's promises, and to find strength in Him. These verses also offer practical advice. They encourage us to admit our weaknesses, to lean on God in times of struggle, and to trust in His strength rather than our own. They remind us to remain hopeful, even in our darkest moments. 
They urge us to persevere, to keep going, to keep believing, even when the odds are stacked against us. These verses not only offer comfort, they also provide a roadmap for finding strength in our weakest moments. They remind us that resilience is not about never falling, but about getting up each time we fall. It's about finding strength in weakness, about turning our trials into triumphs, and about allowing God's grace and power to shine through our struggles. Remember, the Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom on finding strength in times of weakness. And these verses are just a few of the gems it holds. So in times of struggle, in times of weakness, let's turn to these words of wisdom. Let's remember these promises and let's find our strength in God. These verses not only offer comfort, but they also provide a roadmap for finding strength in our weakest moments. Understanding these verses is one thing, but how do we apply this wisdom in our own lives? This is a question that we may often ask ourselves. The biblical concept of finding strength in weakness is not merely a philosophical idea, but a practical tool for navigating life's challenges. Firstly, let's talk about faith. Faith is not about having all the answers, but it's about trusting that there is a greater plan at work even when we can't see it. When we're going through tough times, it can be easy to feel like we're alone. But remembering that there is a higher power looking out for us can provide immense comfort and strength. It's about believing that even in our weakest moments, we are being guided towards a path of growth and resilience. Next, let's consider the practice of gratitude. It might sound counterintuitive to be grateful when we're feeling weak or broken. However, gratitude can help us shift our focus from what's going wrong to what's going right. It's about acknowledging our blessings, no matter how small they may seem. Even in our darkest hours, there are always things to be grateful for. This change in perspective can instill a sense of hope and strength within us. Lastly, we mustn't underestimate the power of community. The people around us, our family, friends or church community, can be a source of immense strength during our times of weakness. They can offer support, encouragement and a listening ear when we need it the most. Reaching out to them, sharing our struggles and asking for help is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our strength and resilience. Remember, these are not one-size-fits-all solutions, but rather tools that we can adapt and use according to our own unique situations and needs. By applying these biblical teachings, we can find strength in our darkest moments and emerge stronger. And not only that, we can become a beacon of light and hope for others, showing them that it is indeed possible to find strength in weakness. To recap, the Bible offers profound wisdom on finding strength in times of weakness. It tells us that during our most challenging times, when we feel most vulnerable, that's when we are strong. It's a paradoxical wisdom that seems counterintuitive, but is deeply rooted in the concept of resilience. Throughout our discussion, we've unpacked this idea, delving into various biblical verses to bring it to light. We've seen how faith plays a crucial role in this journey. It's the belief in something greater, an unwavering trust that helps us find strength even in our darkest hours. We also explored the significance of gratitude. It's about appreciating what we have, even in times of scarcity. This sense of thankfulness can help us shift our focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in our lives, fostering a sense of contentment and resilience. And finally, we touched upon the importance of community. Human beings are social creatures after all. In times of weakness, it's our relationships, our connections with others that can provide us with the support and strength we need to overcome adversity. Remember, in our weakness, we find our strength. This is the paradoxical wisdom that the Bible teaches us. So the next time you're feeling weak, remember these teachings and may you find the strength you need.